Hello and welcome to Rich King Retro's YouTube channel. I'll show this is my video from my latest pickups from car boot sales and a few trade ins with a few friends. Picked up quite a lot, as you can see. Start from left to right. Picked up a Thundercats kind of picture frame. That's £3. Surprised to see that. Some random ball games, Ghost Galleon, Vampire Game. Picked up the Vampire Game a couple of months ago. It's missing one part. So, I thought I'd pick up another one. I think they were £2 each. Loads of PlayStation 1 games, 50p to like a pound. Got that Tekken Rapid Race. Tekken looks well bad now. You put it on the big TV and it looks the blockiest game you've ever seen so if you've got one got a copy put it in Boston move wall zone international track and field just love that four player game it should be well good street skate a couple more pretty pointless PS1 games what games I didn't have put up V Rally 2 memory card Joy Tech one I'm not quite sure if that was sold separate or came in some kind of special edition pack more PS1 games Rayman, FIFA Last Report I definitely needed that game oh, see if the lights lights in the way I haven't seen that for a few years Tomb Raider, Mortal Kombat Trilogy it's the only Mortal Kombat Trilogy I ever find the Midway Classics Formula 1 Reloaded, big box edition, Wing Command is any sort of rarish game I got here. Bugsy 3D, also picked up some Xbox games. I'm having a gaming night so I sort of needed some extra copies of Time Splitters 2 and Halo 2. So I went looking for lots of Xbox games. I picked up these. Hitman, Grand Theft Auto Double Pack, Time Splitters 2, Far Cry, Halo 2, Manhunt, Tom, Tom Splitters Future Perfect. It's a good shout. Put up a handheld PlayStation dance map kind of controller thing. That was 50p, never seen one of them before. It's PSP games. Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Ape Academy. Put up a Star Screen Transformers toy. Boxed. I'm trying to think what year it's from. Doesn't really say what year. Let's see if you can see. It's quite old. As far as I know. Put up some more Game Boys. Put up these two, a purple one and the big fat one. That's five pound. The screen was a bit loose, so I just glued it back down. Back down. Pretty simple. I've never seen a pink sort of see-through one of these. Got no back cover, but it's got some battery. Operated electronics boutique thing. That was three pound. Screen's all good. Picked up an SP. That was actually in um, this donkey this Donkey Kong Bongo set with like a black GameCube. That was actually inside. I didn't realise it was there. My chopper attack for the Nintendo 64. Lots of random. Game Boy cables for multi, I guess for multiplayer, Pokemons and Mario Kart. Couple of Pokemon, couple Pokemon Gold. Proper version, not the bootleg versions that are everywhere now. Pick up a PSP disc case. Got loads of PS2 games. These other came with the consoles, or they are like literally one pound, two pound each. Red Faction Two, nothing really rare. Oh, Mission Warlords, so you love that game. It's quality. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. That's the only one I haven't really bothered playing. Let's get into it. Some more Spy Hunter. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. God, I can't believe that's like five, six old, years old now. San Andreas. Put up some Mega Drive games, Asterix, 
and The Great Rescue, that's a good game. X-Men, Kung Fu Kid, that's another one to my collection of uh, Mars System games. Put up some GameCube games. I put up this Sonic Battle Platinum. I picked up with a silver GameCube, which is just so I'll show you a moment. A moment. Turok, Mario Kart, I've got two Mario Kart double dashes, but these ones say not to be sold separate, so they came with consoles. I actually found one of these actually in the Donkey Kong Bongo set. Resident Evil 4, that was in the box set as well. And Metroid Prime. So I might as well quickly show you the bongos. Yeah, this is the Donkey Kong Ultimate Bongo Bundle. I picked up um, the purple version about two months ago, two, three months ago. I paid £40 for it. Yeah, 40 45 But I didn't know they did a black version. I got this one actually for three quid. But they didn't have a console in it. So it was just literally at the end of the car boot. I said, how much do you want for it? And he goes, oh, £3, but he hasn't got the console in it. So I thought, oh, okay, I might as well get it for three quid. But I had my console. It's got the bongos, it's all in literally mint condition inside. The box is perfect. And did have Resident Evil 4 in it, Metroid Prime, Mario Kart Double Dash, and the Silver SP just randomly in it. So that was a lucky bonus. Um, picked up a Mega Drive, this was a pound, no cables or anything. But you know, you always see cables, the power cables are everywhere at car boots, so you just will be able to pick them up. Picked up some SNES games. Spider-Man, X-Men's Revenge, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong Land, or Con Donkey Kong Country 2, Populous, never liked that strategy game, put up some more of these little cubes, most of the time these actually run out of batteries, so I don't know if these ones work, no they don't, so I have to get some batteries for them, the little guy, picked up a boxed PS2, this was £10 with some games, this is the 50003 version. There's about six or seven different version PS2s you can get. Here's another one. The Prestige Edition, the silver fat one. Two silver controllers. Only came with one controller, so I need to find another silver controller, which I always see all the time. That was that was twelve pound and it came with about eight of these PS2 games. Then I got two boxed. PS2 slim lines. One was five pound, the other one was seven pound. I think one of them was just I think the seven pound was the one on its own. Why well, one was five pound with a couple of games. Two different versions, that's why I picked them up. One's a seven zero 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 three C B and the other one's a seven five zero zero three C B. So I don't really understand what's the difference between them. I think one box just looks bigger than the other. Yeah, so they're a good addition to my collection. Also picked up two Xboxes. I'm always wearing you pick up Xboxes now because literally 50% of them you pick up are broken. But I found one in a charity shop. I got for £5. Plus it came with the three green controllers, which is random, pretty random. And the other one was £10, which came with like the DVD remote. It's a DVD remote receiver. And two, well, no, three. Three of the black controllers and the one very fat original one. That's not bad. I need them for a gaming night. I'm having a gaming night, so I need them for like eight player Halo 2. Also picked up loads of controllers. And I'm having a gaming night in where I live in this local pub. So I needed shit loads of controllers for like international track and field. And Michael Machines, eight player. So I picked up. Your know, extra multi tap that was literally just a pound. Loads of controllers are a pound, two pound each. I think some of these controllers actually were with the PS2 system link for multiplayer link up. So I'll be, I think I'll be able to do that for assault rigs or Command and Conquer. I've decided probably Command and Conquer Retaliation. Oh, PS1 Slim, the Slim Small version. Picked up a DVD remote. I think I paid four or five pound for it because I thought it obviously I could do with it with the others. Random eye toy and shit, loads of memory cards that I picked up with all my 
for all this stuff. I see if I see a memory card and I just offer them, would you take a pound for it? They're like, yeah. If they if they say no, don't pick it up really. So these are the ones I just picked up over the literally last week. Silver one. I think that silver one might actually need to go in the in the box PS2 Prestige Edition. Pink one. I don't know where I got that one from really. And I didn't know they did a 64 megabyte. So I can't I can't wait to put these actually in the PS2s and actually look to see what saves they're on there. Same with the old PS1 saves. Picked up a couple of PS2 or uh, PS1s. Picked up an old Alpha. Paid four pound for one of these. I can't, can't remember which one. And the other one was seven pound, but it came with this cool carry case. I've never seen this carry case before. So that's something different. Then I got a Mar System, the original Mar System One. It's got Hang On and Safari Hunt. Gave me two controllers, all the cables, but just missing the gun. That was four pound. There was this big, fat, ugly guy just hovering over it. I'm like, oh, he picked it up, and I was like, for God's sake. And he was just umming and on for ages, saying, oh, I don't know if my kids would like this. And I'm thinking, go away. <laughs> and he put it down, and I just nabbed it. Put up this grandstand. Grandstand 4600 colour. Looks really bad on the new TVs, but obviously got an old TV just for the old retro games. And here's the silver GameCube with our unofficial controller. I paid £4 for that. Four, no, I think it's about 480 actually. Yeah, you offered him, yeah, he wanted five pounds. I said, I'll give you four pounds. Then we just arranged 480. So these are all my pickups. Oh, what else? Oh, I got this as well NTSC PAL compatible. So I guess, I guess this is a converter for a. Uh, the American Virgin console, so you can play it over here, or the other way around. So that was a fine pickup. That was actually in the book, in the bag as well. So these are my retro finds. If anybody lives in Cornwall, Devon, I'm having a gaming night. It's May the 11th, Friday. It's in Liscard. Give me a message if you're interested in coming. It's a little pub in the centre of town. We're gonna have about 15 TVs all set up. All retro games, four player Halo, two, Time Splitters, two, for the PlayStation. These are all my random TVs that I've got. And the TVs at the back, just old LCD TVs I've picked up for £35 each. 19 inch. No remotes, that's why they're quite cheap. So, yeah. If anyone's in, interested in a trade, just let me know, give me a message. Let me know. Thank you.